So the first thing we've done to the mash tun is we've removed the sit ball. You're no longer sit, going to sit there for a minute while you're crafting. There's a couple other changes though. We've uh, updated to the Unity HUD, so when you go to craft, you'll be able to use either the HUD in-game. If you've got issues with the in-game HUD, you'll be able to use the web page version and uh, log in to the meter website and have no issues there. So <coughs> we've got a new HUD. You're no longer limited to making the recipes that we've created as the creators of the system. You're now able to make your own combination just like the cooking station, the alchemy station and so forth. Here we go, watch this load. You've got a little, so think of this as a recipe table. You've got on the top left you've got your solids and on the bottom left you've got some liquids. Um, over here you've got a recipe um, section, any recipes you've already created and here you've got enzymes. Now uh, there is also liquids here required 0 out of 10. You have to have a minimum of 10 liquids inside to be able to get a crafting button which will come down over this barrel and anything else you need an enzyme uh, um, so an enzyme um, so far there's only barley um, five of those and then 10 liquids. So let's start with liquids see what we've got here let's go applesauce h1 this is something I know Demsey's created one that doesn't give me anything except for one of my liquids fulfilled Fish sauce will do one of those. Hunger, that doesn't give me starch or sugar here on this, as you see here. Corn syrup, though, I'm sure that has sugar in it, right? That has 19 starch, sorry. So let's add three of those. You can add anything you like. Just play around until you're happy uh, happy with it all. Okay, I'll put eight in there. That's fine. So that's, that's my requirements for liquids. Um, as you can see, I haven't added any solids into this, but I've got starch, 152, sugar output, 114. I have met the requirements, I can now hit the craft button. But if I do add some potatoes, that's where the maximum I can add. There is a maximum you can add because um, you cannot go over um, 1000 starch in your recipes. Adding this will be too much starch to the mash, okay, so I can't add more than 8 potatoes. This is ready to go, hit the craft button, this will check the system. Right, I can give it a name, give it a name, and I can give it a description. The mash colour, you cannot change, that's based on the ingredients you've put in, it will automatically um, form a colour based on the ingredients that are in our database. Then you hit check name, if it's available, you will be able to save the recipe as yours. I will not do that because I've already got my own recipe here. I'll open the recipe book to show you. Recipe book shows you your um, current recipes. I have a potato corn syrup mash that I've created with 5 barley enzymes, 10 corn syrup as a liquid and 8 potatoes. These are output. It gave me 8 health, 8 energy, 742 sugars. I can now um, go and make it. So you don't make it from here. You just close this HUD. You make it directly from uh, using your recipe on the blue SL menu. Um, corn starch, I want to make one of those. It takes one hour per product. Okay, and you don't have to sit here anymore. So basically, it's uh, simulating what you're doing in the real world. You're adding your water everything's in there and then you can walk away 59 minutes 52 seconds per one I've gained my 100 CXP and when I come back I can use this mash I can now add it to my fermenting if I want a fermenting process I can add it to my distillery if I want a distillery process and so forth um, we'll uh, show you how all that works when we get to it and thank you for watching